Hello, welcome back to Ray Art. Uh, this is Theresa Ray and this is Pepe, our studio mascot. Uh, today I'd like to talk about where do we get our inspiration for doing um, a particular piece of glass. So, inspiration can come from anywhere. It can come from a book, it can come from a walk when you go out and you take a walk in the countryside. You may go down to the sea and the sea may be a piece of inspiration to you. It could be a piece of music. Um, for me, certain music stimulates um, the way I feel and I like to express that through either my paintings or my glass. So today um, I'm going to say that I started collecting a book and the book is really, it can be photographs um, that I've taken when I've been out on a walk. It can be something that I've seen on the internet that I think is particularly beautiful. Not to say that I'm going to copy it, it's more that it's firing up something in me to do something similar. Like I love this wave, I like the way the wave curls. And what I do is I start to collect and stick them in a book. So this is a Picasso piece that I particularly like because of the deconstruction that's going on. And these are two of my old paintings that were done several years ago. If we look up here, for example, this is a painting that I did, ooh, it's got to be 20, 30 years ago and it was done in California as a um, colour and design. So we actually cut out pieces, um, anything that inspired us from a magazine. And then what we had to do was to lay it out onto um, an A2 sheet of paper. And from that, we actually had to paint what we saw. So as you can see, I've got different textures, different designs. And that is because um, that was what inspired me at that particular moment. Since doing that, I've now decided to incorporate, um, to do something in glass using that particular painting. So for example, this is a, this is a test piece, but if I was to hold that up to here, I can show you how you can trans, um, pose something from a painting to seeing if it will work in glass. Another piece that was done was here. So it's very similar, but obviously you're not going to get the exact replica, but it's close. And then what I will be doing is putting it together to form a picture. Now I may decide by doing the glass um, that certain elements of that picture can be left behind. Um, in other words, I, I'm not necessarily going to put all of those pieces into my glass subject. So if we recap, you could get your inspiration from a book. You could get it from a photograph. It could be a walk. It could be a piece of music. It could even be an old painting that you've done years ago that you'd like to try and incorporate in glass. I hope that's given you some ideas, some food for thought. Do go out and explore, have fun, enjoy, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you.